uh, well, I'm going to explain you with this piece of stone how you can change the sculpture that you have. Uh, this stone actually is a spring stone. The ones you have is fruit serpentine, but it's the same. We work the same way any type of stone. So this is the stone when you see that it's raw, that is another color. And on the other side, you can see this black that is when the sculpture is actually polished. So um, we can work either way. If you have a sculpture that is totally polished, like this side of the piece, you can get back to the raw color with sandpaper. So actually what you do is that you find a piece of sandpaper and just do this over the stone. It's really easy, really simple. And if you see the, the where you do this with the sandpaper, the stone is raw again. The only thing that you have to be careful is that you work all the lines always on the same direction so you don't get different marks all over like that, right? Then, on your case, I think that um, what you want to do is the other way around. You have some part that is unpolished and you want to polish. If your piece is like this, right, that is not really smooth yet, you can make it smooth, again, with some paper. You can start from a bigger grade to a smaller grade. So you start with the bigger grade and then you do this as much as you want and then you change it to one smaller. Once the, the, the stone is pretty, pretty smooth, the last step is to use a water to smooth it even more. When you put the water over the stone, you will see the real color to come out. In this case, it's black. In your case, will be a kind of green with orange. So once you work it as much as you want to get the, the surface that you want, right? You have to let it dry and then I'm gonna work on the other piece of the stone. And then in order to bring, because once that you do the sand, the, you use the sandpaper over the stone, when it dries, it will be back to this color, which is gray. So if you want it polished like the rest of the piece, you have to polish it with fire. So what you do is you get some transparent wax. Actually, this one is shoe wax, is transparent. Um, you just will put it over the stone on the pieces that you want it to, to be polished. And you see, you, you can put it either with your finger or you can put it with a clean cloth. And then you will need a blowtorch, like this one that I have here. So you just open this, right? You light the blowtorch and you put it over the stone. Here, um, the only question is how much you will put it. Well, every stone, depending on the hardness, you need to put it more or a little less. So you want to start touching with your finger. When you feel it, no, it's not yet. When it burns, actually, your finger is done. So you will, yeah, take it out and put more wax, right? On this side, in this case, it's better to do it with a clean cloth because if not, you're gonna burn your finger. So you just apply more and more. And then again, you put fire again. And then it's done. Now, 
one important thing. Um, if your piece of stone, you make it really, really smoother like this side here, it will get dark at this one. If, um, if you didn't use the sandpaper like I didn't do here, the color will never get as dark as here. So you have to work like really good the sandpaper in order to get it really, really, really smooth and then do the process with the block torch. I hope um, this helped. Um, you can let me know any questions.